Two cyclists have been run down during an early morning ride in South Perth. Witnesses say the 17-year-old P-plate driver lost control and ploughed into the pair. It's a Saturday morning ritual that landed Nicholas Hennessy in hospital. The 42-year-old was at the tail end of a pack of riders on Canning Highway in South Perth when he and another cyclist were hit by this Ford sedan. The car just surged into the cyclist and one slightly went under the car, so the first chap that got hit, yeah, he seems to be in quite a bad way. Behind the wheel, a 17-year-old P-plate driver, an apprentice plumber, on his way to work. Witnesses say the young man lost control going around a bend. Our other riding group um, got ploughed into from behind, so a couple of riders went, went flying and, um, and yeah, it was, it was pretty horrific. Both cyclists are being treated here at Royal Perth Hospital. 42-year-old Nicholas Hennessy has serious arm and leg injuries, while the other rider, who's 57, has minor injuries. Both men are in a stable condition. Yesterday, another P-plater was behind the wheel of a car involved in a crash in Currambine. This time, a 71-year-old cyclist was hit and didn't survive. Police are still investigating what caused the crash. Both crashes have happened just days after the WA Greens called for new laws to make the road safer for cyclists. They say there should be at least a space of one metre when a car is overtaking or one and a half metres on roads where the speed limit is greater than 60 kilometres an hour. Police have questioned the 17-year-old driver over this morning's crash but are yet to lay charges. Peter Capsanis, Nine News.